Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with this major head Volkswagen Beetle. And uh, it's a build-off between me, Matchbox Mark and 2AHD Cat as a later addition. Mark decided to do a Volkswagen. <laughs> he knows I like him so how can I say no? So don't forget to check them channels as well. This one was a gift from my friend Paul Billet. And uh, as you can see, it's in need of a bit of attention. About half of the car is missing. And the other half is not in very good condition either. But uh, you know that I like Beatles and major are actually really good castings so I'm gonna take this one apart and see if I can do something with it or at least make it look like a whole car again The roof is missing, as you can see, but it's alright, because I'm going to do a convertible. Uh, the interior is alright, the steering wheel is broken, but at least I've got it. So I always can glue it back. And uh, as for the chassis, it's broken in two parts. And it's not the first time that I've got a major red chassis broken in the same place. So I'll have to sort that out. And after doing a bit of cleaning and polishing, it's time to prepare the car. And I need to get rid of all these beads so I can put a new soft top and uh, a new windshield.
a bit of sanding is required but it helps me to get a really nice smooth finish and as for the windshield I'm gonna use a hair clip to make the frame I'm only gonna tack the frame onto place to see if I like it or no. And I think it's a good fit. But uh, first of all, I need to get rid of all the casting lines, so the frame needs to go for the time being. Not bad, but still a lot of work. In the meantime, I'm gonna do an inner frame for the other one, so I've got somewhere to rest the glass. And I'm just using a paper clip that I'm gonna flatten down with a hammer. I've glued them together now and as you can see there's like a 90 degree angle shelf where I can uh, rest the window. And the window is made out of a bit of uh, clear plastic from packaging. It is a bit tricky to show, but you get the idea. I'm gonna put the window somewhere safe and I'm gonna glue the frame onto the car so it's ready for primer and painting.
I'm going to let it dry for a bit and then I'll put some more glue and a bit of my magic dust as a filler. I'm gonna let it cure until it's really solid and then I'll do a bit of sanding. I've decided to go for the same color as the original so the first thing that I'm gonna do is paint it silver that'll give me like a base coat and then I'll be adding some clear uh, transparent blue The base needs gluing, so I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna use some super glue and some of my metal filings, and that will reinforce the seam. I'm putting some more glue on top of the metal filings and that will make it really strong. And after it dries, I'll do the same in the other side. The wheels are okay, they just need to be uh, painted again. The window goes back on and it's a bit tricky because I haven't got much room to move. And 
and to finish it off I'm just gonna add some detail I'm gonna paint the front trim, but I think I'll do it off camera. Now we'll see if everything fits back on together. Uh, the folder roof is from a different car and it fits perfectly, so I just painted it black. And to finish it off, I'm just gonna use some transparent paints to do the backlights and the side indicators. And it's all finished now. So don't forget to check the other channels. Matchbox Mark and 2A HD Cut. Everything went perfect in this build, and uh, I'm really happy with the result. But then again, it's a beetle, and you know that I love beetles. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like if you fancy, and I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.